there is absolutely no promise no promise that i'm gonna continue with this series this video is an experimental video where i'm raw dogging it why because the friend of the channel known as Brothers Yo, hey, they do anime reactions as well. And they pop off. Please go check out their content if you haven't. They made a new reaction called, this is actually decent. Wise Man's Grandchild Episode 1. Shit hit for 18k. 18k, goddamn, I gotta get on board. And then remember this video? Remember, remember here? We polled recently, actually, to see what we're gonna watch. And, you know, obviously, Mid Art Online Season 3 is gonna win out of this one. But... Wise Man's Midchild was actually on our poll too. Now, it didn't win. And at the end of the day, the reason that your boys, you know, uh, not, not your boy, your, the brothers yo were able to hit this big of a viewership is because their audience actually wants to watch it. Now, I don't know if my audience does. That's why this is an experimental video. So if we're not going to continue this, if the first video doesn't hit 10K views, I probably won't continue. But you guys can feel free to go check out the brothers yo. They're going to continue with that series and go check them out. But hey. Let's check out episode one of Wise Man's Grandchild. I actually don't know what anime this is even about. I don't know if it's an isekai, rom-com. Wonders for Science Children 100. Oh, I'm gonna just assume this is an isekai because we're starting off at a Japanese salaryman fucking office and he's gonna get hit by a bus and he's gonna be like, oh, finally, I don't have to do fucking, you know, my corporate life anymore. No one cares about your fucking overtime. You're not even gonna get paid for this. Then again, I have no one waiting for me if I did leave earlier. That is sad as fuck. That is, hey, you can at least use your money now to like wail on gacha 2D waifus and they'll have, you know, they'll be waiting for you at home. This is why the birth rate is declining, bro. People are too fucking busy. What do you mean? Are you not a human? Why do you say that? Oh, okay, so it's Truckun finally. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've had Truckun kind of show up. Finally, Truckun is back to start an isekai properly. Isn't that a shock, guys? Who could have seen this coming in an isekai show? And now he is the grandson of a wise man. That's the whole show. Wise man's grandchild. I'm gonna assume the guy carrying us is a wise man who is fucking OP as fuck. A god of this universe. And now he's gonna give us the powers onto us, the grandchild. And now we're gonna be just flexing on them hoes. That's the entire premise. Look at that aura. Chickens in this world have guile mohawks from Street Fighter. Wind magic! We in chicken tonight. Shin Wolford, age 8. Okay. Truckun. Truckun hit you. So we live in the forest, in the boonies, with the grandfather, okay? Bro's name is actually Merlin. They're not even trying to hide it that he's like the fucking giga wizard of all time. Oh, not blood related. We're the survivor of a carriage that was attacked by a demon. So we don't know mom and dad are alive or not. Maybe they were in the carriage that died, but okay, not blood related to Merlin. Okay, wind magic best for hunting. Multi elements. Incantationless, everybody. Just imagine and it'll work. What is this shit? Basically, the video games that he used to play. Is he thinking about the, sh the weep shit that he used to do back on, back on Earth? Basically. Oh, Granny! His, his grandma or no different ways of fighting in this world too okay she's a friend of grandpa's that's what you think kid what do you, what do you think is happening when you're not at home kid what do you think grandma's just visiting here just a friend huh magical gear okay Michelle Coley. 
Michael? Two years later, another time skip. Okay. Ten. Demons, huh? What are demons in this world? Just scary looking monsters? Ah, so demons are like monsters. I don't know about monsters, but everyone has like magic in this world. And if they kind of like, it goes crazy, then they turn into a demon. People can also turn into demons. Okay. Okay. <laughs> retired hero? Well, he just fucking won't answer. He's like, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, I'm a retired fucking hero, but anyways. Okay. This is actually really nice. This is one of the few times where I'm like, oh, like sensing, like... You know, like Skimmy Shimino Fantasy, there's like an observation Kai in different ways. In different animes, there's like different ways of like, you know, like um, sensing people's energy levels and stuff. But the explanation is like, it never was too intuitive. This one is like, yeah, basically just try to like push your aura out and like other people's aura it'll overlap and you can feel it. And then it's like a radar search. <laughs> and he already does it. Why is he so talented? Because he's the Kai character. He's just that gifted, huh? This kid's cracked. <laughs> Demons. <laughs> Got the laser eye too. Ten-year-old kid, by the way. Ultrasonic vibration. Okay. Okay. You know what? The fight animation here is pretty fucking hype. The, the, the animation quality here is fucking up. I always love it when there's name techniques that happen with Japanese kanji being written like that, right? It's just like, oh, this shit's so hype. Boom! Natsuko gear! Boom! Suyui! Oh. oh, interesting backstory here. Okay, so let's look at frame by frame. Bop. I see a heel on the ground. I'm gonna assume that's her mom's heel. She dead from the carriage. Hair, long hair. Uh, I'm gonna assume that's mom or dad. Probably mom dead. Baby, baby from the carriage that Ji-chan is, you know, carrying. And carriage, that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna assume mom is dead. Who knows? There's some claws in the things too? Maybe. Did we just kill the monster that fucked her carriage up? Or did grandpa already take care of that monster? Too much of a success. You're kind of insane. Air gear, bro. <laughs> Keeping that secret. <laughs> the... This kid's insane. <laughs> and he's the kind of main character, Bomb Grandma. <laughs> Lloyd versus this kid. Lloyd, I, it's not fair. The, the power scaling in two shows is not even fucking close, right? It's conceivable that he has come from another world. Uh, Grandma knows about Isekai characters? Gra Grandma watches Isekai shows? Huh, as far as enchantment, he knows them in the original tongue. I thought that everyone does incantation this year. What do you mean, original tongue? Original tongue? I, I thought that maybe I read this wrong in the beginning, but I thought when Shin was like teaching us, I don't know the main character's name actually, when he was like teaching us like the, how magic works, he said like, everything is just fucking incantationless, right? And now she's saying original tongue. Enchantment. Not magic, enchantment. Different, different. So like, why would grandma say that he's from another world? Why would she make that assumption after seeing that he can ch enchant in the original tongue and like it's so powerful? Because this world has accepted isekai characters before and every one of them has been so OP. So other worlders are just seen as innately talented beings. And grandma is now using him as an example. Really? That was grandpa? Mm, yeah, you should come over more time, granny. <laughs> I don't know how impressive Michelle is, but I guess he's pretty strong. <gasps> Secrets out! <laughs> right. What, 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 what am I getting worried about? Of course he knows. He's a fucking isekai character. 
<laughs> He's gonna tell grandpa. Yeah, yeah, Gramps. I'm actually not 10 years old. I'm like 40 now if you compare my old age and plus the new age. I'm sorry, Gramps. I'm not a child. I'm, you're, you're, you're babying a 40-year-old man right now. The same scenes again. <laughs> Could this be providence? What does providence actually mean? I've heard that word, but providence. Providence is a uh, god or a force that is believed by some people to arrange things that just happens to us. So he, grandpa is basically thinking, oh, is this just chance that, you know, a, a child has shown up even though I've always wanted to, you know, be a grandfather? This must be God's good deed or something. It's possible that demon, the claw marks in the cart, he literally killed the demon that killed his mom, maybe, but that was in the past. That's the implication here, right? He just casually killed it, too. Yeah, what are they? Kind of mysterious. Your parents gotta be super important. Yeah, you're my real grandpa. Aww. What a wholesome kid, but this ain't no kid. It's like a 40 year old man. I just hope that's a crazy ass not happening here. I just hope that grandpa doesn't fucking die in the first episode, man. Like, please let the wise man live for a long time. Are we gonna have another time skipping grandpa's gonna be fucking dead? Like, oh my fucking god, I should be prepared for that. <laughs> Five years later, holy shit. We're 15 now. <laughs> Manhood! Uncle this. He's 15 now. Academy time. Academy. Guild adventurer. Siegfried Marquez. Okay, I don't know what they are, but new characters. Probably the uncle's friends, and the uncle is some sort of imperial army general. I don't know. Royal Order. That's what they are. Merchant. Tom Hag. There's a demon hunter society? What is this? Oh shit! Demon slayers exist in this world, bro. Hashira's with. How the fuck would I know? I just started this episode! Magic gear dealer. Enchantments. We know that. So, they already mentioned him being OP at magic and the enchantments in the original tongue, so he's gonna be cracked at that. We've already seen him, you know, enchant his, you know, boots as a kid. And swordsmanship. So he's got all three. Magic, swordsmanship, and enchantment. So he's gonna just do all three really fucking OP, huh? I mean, we have been just living in the boonies. Magic training ground. Whoa, 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 I was zoned out there. I just zoned out there. Is there something really OP here? Did we teleport? This is likely to turn the world's logistic no. It's very wisdom on its ear. Teleportation is super fucking insane magic that dude, we were just flexing right now. Okay. Okay. Shin was the one that did the teleportation? Oh fuck. I thought Merlin did. Alright, even more crazy. One spell. What's he about to do? We're about to do some fucking hollow purple kind of shit. That one thing. So this is his like signature OP ass fucking weapon. Or it's OP magic. Fire. Blue fire. The highest temperature, blue flame, hottest. Woo! Impossible! Holy shit. Yo, don't they do this shit on Avatar, where they're like, motherfuckers are using fire, but then the fire gets turned into like, electricity or some shit, right? It's like, lightning, because the fire- I don't know the physics involved, but like, somehow you're able to like, turn flame into lightning. I don't know the physics or the science involved, though. Yeah, what I can do now, imagine what's gonna be later. Why are you so OP? 
So we're never gonna go easy. We're all just gonna... It's like, so... He doesn't understand control. He has no scale of what is like normal and OP. Him doing this now is just like, yeah, I can just do that. That's about it for now. So later on, as we traverse the world and meet other people and save people by defeating enemies, he's going to go all out without knowing it's all out. And then everyone's screaming like, what the fuck is this monster? <laughs> Yeah, you're releasing a monster to the world. Arms race. This one kid living in a fucking forest is now so powerful that if he gets released into the public, multiple kingdoms will be at war trying to seize him. This is the kind of level we're at right now. He needs like a chaperone, some kind of guide. Uh, have a waifu that's gonna be main girl interest, that's gonna be like babysitting him and telling him how to, you know, be behave normally. Or that! Magic Academy, let's go! Yep! Uh-huh, okay. Magic Academy time. Entrance exam arc. All the fucking kids are gonna be like, oh my god, who is this kid? Tournament arcs. Hopefully people's thinking, oh my god, it's a fucking, fucking... A bumpkin! Bumpkin from the forest! We're noble elites! And then they're gonna be like, oh, look, it's a fucking... It's a... a what did they say in Mahoka? It's a fucking weed, right? The slur. Oh, it's a weed. We are full blooms. Oh, 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 please give me all the fucking magical academy tropes. Assume Shin into your own country? Who said that just now? Was that uncle? No, that was grandpa telling us. Because, like, you could just form a new nation around Shin. It would, like, if the royal order were to have Shin right now, it would be fucking insane. If you were to join the demon hunters, it would be fucking insane. Wherever he goes, that will be the new prime time fucking place, you know? Your own country. Does uncle own a country then? I don't know what uncle's, you know, like, role is. Don't tell me. But, like, he seems pretty fucking important. Your own country, military, royal order. He seems very fucking high up, right? In the empire, if it exists. Our country's disputes. So this is an academy meant for, like, super fucking gifted children. And the uncle's saying, now if you go there, you're gonna realize how insane you are compared to these gifted children. Yeah, you two need to make some friends, man. Entrance exams! Oh! Entrance exams. So it's merit-based only. We don't need nepotism, Gramp. We don't, we don't need it. Okay. Uncle this is Dissium von Arsahaido. King of the kingdom of Arsahaido. Damn, a king is here? And he's our uncle. The royals. Royal guard, okay. I wonder if we're stronger than this guy already. We probably are, right? We're probably stronger than this guy. I want to know what grandma is, to be honest. You know what? Like, like I, I, Michelle is probably fucking insane, too. I want to know what grandma is, though, right? Is grandma fucking cracked? If grandpa was like Hakaishin, Lord of Destruction, what, what is grandma? Imagine she was like some kind of like almost like succubus beauty in her prime. And then like fucking like the goddess of temptation or something was grandma, bro. <laughs> Retired Knights Commander of the Order. So, yeah, our, our boy Shin has grown up in like the best fucking environment to succeed. He's got the Lord of Destruction as his master. He already got born into this world with Isekai bullshit powers. Then you have people like him, the strongest fucking Knights Commander that's retired now teaching him. Like, we're cracked. We're, our, our entire portfolio is insane. We got lucky as fuck being, you know, saved by Grandpa here. Grandma, what are you? Grandma, what are you? Yeah, he's like a retired hero. 
Demonoid, human like demon. Damn, the crown prince himself and then, you know, this king is giga base. He's not some kind of pussy be hiding behind, you know, everyone else. He literally volunteered to go in as the crown prince. And then Merlin saves him, right? Merlin saves him here. Oh! <laughs> Friends, friends, but grandma, grandma in her prime, friend, yeah, yeah, it's for sure. Mistress Melina, mistress? <laughs> yeah, and the vigor is so fucking strong. That's why, you know, Merida makes her way, her trip down here once in a while for that ah. appointment. Yeah, honestly, grandma, you looking pretty fucking nice for your age. Like, damn, like. I love how, like, in anime, like, the way to make people old is, like, if you just remove these lines, right? This single line here around the mouth, that's how you make people look old. Like, rest of her face looks fine. There's, like, no wrinkles, and then you just draw lines, and it's just like, yep, they're old now. If you got rid of these fucking lines, then, like, she would look like any other fucking anime girl. Straight up. That's their entire strategy. <laughs> Nah, your uncle this. Half-month-later. I don't know what happened between them, but all right. No, Grandpa, tell me how you got divorced. Oh, we got an infinite bag. The divorce is done. They, they come back together, bro. She's living with us now. We're, we're, we're all going together? I thought that Shin himself would be going by himself with like a, as like a boarding student, but like Grandpa's coming with us and living with us, and so is Grandma. They're all coming with us. Okay, okay. Sundere as fuck, Grandma. Hakaishin! <gasps> <gasps> Mistress! <laughs> Wise man and guru. And the guru. Oh my god, the girls are fucking gushing. The girls are gushing over the Grandpa. No, it's... I... Grandpa looked really hot back in the day. Grandpa, if you look at Grandpa, he's a straight up e Kim, and I, even now, I bet he can still pull these girls, but like, goddamn. Yo, they're like fucking idols here. Here comes the paparazzi. <laughs> he had this in the royal capital the entire time, but decided to live in the fucking forest with the cabin? Bro. Bro, <laughs> I am Steve. Marika. Well, do Steve. Because you are a beep. He's probably overpaying. He probably just got scammed, bro. I, he, he probably just got scammed. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna assume he knows nothing about the value of money. He understands fucking nothing. This credit probably bought, like, the entire fucking fruit section here. What? How much did he pay? Oh my god! I can't, I can't get the exact frame. I can't get the exact frame. But you can see grandma here, right? You, you can see grandma right over here. They also used to have, like, a little bear pet, huh? A little bear familiar? But okay. Grandma still got it going on, bro. Yeah, this is a straight up 50 year old ad. Like, this shit's back when they were in their prime. They still have these fucking ads. So... Are we gonna save her? <laughs> Based on her hair color, is she related to Granny? Wouldn't it be kinda. I, it, how would that work? Because. Granny Merida now wants to be like our grandma, so we can't be fucking our grandma's granddaughter, if that was the case, but anyways. Mm. It is very cliche. Why do they always do this, man? Go all out. Son of the Lord of Destruction. Ew. Go all out! 
What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, so he cast some kind of bear. I thought he did it with his fucking bare hand. That's a tooth gone too. Two girls. I, two girls. I <laughs> know. Oh, Hello, who's talking? I can't see anyone right now. Sorry, all I see are two bazongas. Hello, cameraman, who's talking right now? <laughs> this is the main love interest? Just because of big titties. So he doesn't care about the other girl. Like the, uh, the, the pink haired girl right there, she's pretty stacked too. But bro, Lil Bro saw this and he was like, yep, first, first time, yep, we're in love. Unless we're getting a harem. <laughs> Your booba. Just this. And that is Wise Man's Grandchild, Episode 1. And again, there is absolutely no promise that I'm going to finish this season. Nope, Episode 2 will not happen unless this video fucking pops off with at least 10,000 views. I am adamant about this. This show can simply win a community poll on the YouTube side. I and mean, it's already been voted in once, right? There are obviously lots of sword art online because kind of it, we're what we've been watching SEO for a long time, right? So even if this video doesn't get 10k views, right? We can just like restart this and get get onto episode two if it ever wins a YouTube community poll. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.